Queen with Highlander launching Princess of the Universe. Now the man behind it all, but next to Molly with Humdrum. Okay, thanks very much, Gavin. Well, you've just seen uh, Queen with Prince of the Universe. And of course, this is the album. And in fact, uh, it's a very good album, good Queen album. And the filmmaker of that particular film clip is none other than my mate here, Russell Mulcahy. Russell, welcome to yeah. Countdown again. Hey! Good to see you. So now listen, uh, well, first of all, let's talk about the, the, the film, Highlander. Looks like I one of my clips coming in. One of your effects, we have ballet dancers So next. anyway, uh, your Highlander's open this week, right. and it's... Uh, right. Yeah. It's a film that, that, that uh, stars Christopher Lambert. It's uh, about immortals, right. and uh, basically it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an action-adventure fantasy film. I mean, you and I, but we're, we're both Saturday matinee kids. Right. I mean, uh, and, I mean, I make films that... They're popcorn movies. They're like they're like films that uh, are basically entertaining. All right now, who who was uh, who chose a Queen to do the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> who I chose did. Queen? Yeah, yeah. You must have been pleased with that because this I did. I did. One of one of the few bands I'd never worked with. Right. I mean, doing a clip with. Yeah. And um, it was. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted them to do it because the film takes place in two centuries, basically. Right. You know, it spans over four hundred years, and and I wanted them to represent the modern day. Well, it certainly uh, has, has done that. Uh, the, the thing with the uh, with, with that film, some people can accuse you of being of making long rock video clips. With this, I feel that uh, that that's not true. Well, I guess when I when I did my videos, I, I was desperate to do feature films, and I I always just like cram stories into three minutes. Right. And now I'm given the opportunity to make a feature film, and this was a very exciting story. Mm. And I hope I've done the story justice. Well, as we're being smoked out, let's have a look at the UK <laughs> top five for this week. Your direction's wonderful. This is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, at number five, I can't even see it. Edge of heaven, wham! <laughs> yeah, wacko to you. Hoo hoo! You're still there, Gavin. Number yes, four. I am. No my one... favourite waste of time, Owen Paul. That's what he said. <laughs> and at number three. It's already been a hit here. Let's go all the way. I think they're going all the way here in the studio. Sly Fox. At number two, Every Beat of My Heart. Your friend of mine, mate. Rod Stewart's going to be a hit here as well. It'll be his follow-up single and Papa Dunn. Preach! By Madonna. Madonna. Madonna, yes. Now, listen, uh, I must just say this uh, right now, and I don't want to get too heavy about it, but there is an enormous backlash for no reason at all on Madonna and people like Prince and that. Uh, there's a lot of radio stations not playing the records just purely because uh, it's Madonna and that. I think there's a pig in the back. So, Gavin, can I be serious for a moment? On another, uh, on another case, we've got The Angels. It's not being played by certain radio stations, and I think, well, why not? That's rock and roll. And I even hear that in Brisbane, they're not playing Wah Wah Knees Stimulation. So it is very odd to know what the programmers think uh, their audience want these days. Very... Maybe they've got a lot of nephews that sing. Do you think? Uh, could be, could be. Russell, I think an old movie's come back to haunt you. Oh, the pig's here. Ah! God, talking about Razorback, I wonder if the diamonds are there, mate. <laughs> it's just a private joke between Russell and I of another movie that... Uh... You'll see in the sequel. Yeah. Yes. Now, listen, going back, you obviously like doing rock clips. Um, mm. You thought that you might sort of give that a miss. No, I mean, I, I can try out a lot of... Uh... I still feel part of the industry of the rock clips, and I can still try a lot of my silly ideas in the rock clips. And mm. if they turn out to be a bad idea, at least it's a short bad idea. I mean, I get a lot of that out of my system. Right. Well, I mean, when you look at what you've done recently, you've done uh, well, Queen, obviously, Billy Joel, new Billy, Billy Joel, uh, the new Rolling Stones, one hit to the body. Right. And uh, doing Elton next week over in Los Angeles. Right. And have you thought any great ideas for Elton? Well, no. I mean, I, I, El Elton called me the other day. I, I mean, he's still recording in Holland, mm. and uh, mass you know, he, he's very happy with it. And he said, I said, well, what, what are your ideas? And he said, well, I think that I should be, it should be dance, I think it should be glittery and camp. Right. That's it. Well, so, I'm I mean, Still Standing was, was certainly a video clip that turned his whole career around, I Yeah, think. I can still remember yeah. his smiling face that day. It was well, let's day. see if he's smiling, because you're doing that in the US. Let's have a look at the US top five for this okay. week. Do you want to have a go? All right. At number five, Peter Satira, number five of Glory of Love. And number four, Janet Jackson with Nasty. Oh. Go, Janet. Woo! Janet takes two hours to do a makeup. Oh, really? That's three minutes for Michael. At number three, Invisible Touch. Great film because this one, Genesis. Do you like the film? Oh, I think it's very creative with those drumsticks, singing into drumsticks. It's a new idea. You said you hated it before. In fact, you called it boring. Number two, Danger Zone, Kenny Loggins. Meow! <laughs> he did. And at number one, now you must think this is... Now, this is a good one. Right. Sledgehammer, Peter Gabriel. Yeah. 
I think that's what video clips are about. I mean, well, hold on. You that, think that, 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 that tries new ideas. And that, that's a brave video. Okay, how much do you reckon that would have cost? I have no idea. It looks like it took a long time to make, but I mean, uh, that's where the industry needs to go. It needs to try new talent, new ideas, and keep it fresh. All right, so let's let's look at, uh, say, the, the Genesis clip that you don't like. You, th you think it's boring? Yeah, it's I just think it's a bit lazy. I, yeah? Yeah, I mean, what can I say? I mean, but I have I have very strange tastes. Right. Yes, you do. Right. Like strange he taste. likes you. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind. Two albums before we go into this So anyway, you're, go, you're going to see Highlander, right? Yes, I am. I've already seen Highlander. All right, I showed it to you. Yes, I saw the American version. Sorry. That was with 12 minutes cut out. All right. Why do they cut things out for different I don't know. I guess they want to sell more popcorn. Yeah? But at least the Australian version is, uh, is the right version. I'm happy with and it. That's the one that's going crazy in Europe. Yeah, I mean, it's made 30 million so far, so I'm really happy. All right, let's have a look at the Australian top five for this week. It's all right, Sorry, Maggie. Matt. Maggie's having a heart attack down there. Oh, at number five, Miss This Tonight, Matt Moffat. Miss This Tonight, my At number four, great song, Great Wall, Boom, Crash Opera. Number three, Mr. Big, it's coming up on the show in a minute, Ice House. That's an excellent song. <laughs> Number two, do you want to be? I'm talking. Well, number one, Stimulation. Great song by Wawani. Now, I think this one, you're impressed with this, right? I'm very impressed. I think they're great. They're brilliant. And, uh, I mean, everyone has high hopes that they, in fact, will uh, do well in America as well. But just uh, talking on the Australian side, this album, you've already seen the group in action tonight, Crowded House. Excellent album. Uh, the, most of the songs have been written by Neil. I thought there may be a danger that perhaps it may sort of sound, because Eddie Raiden has also written a song with Neil on this album, that it may sort of sound a little bit sort of split ends and with Tim's album out as well. But it's, this album is a great surprise to me and there's a song now we're getting uh, somewhere is my favourite. It's just wonderful. One, it, it starts off with a woman like an old harpsichord and that and away it goes. Great, great album. Congratulations. All right, listen, um, uh, one other album that it was very underrated, this, this, this group, The Smiths, The Queen Is Dead. Please have a listen to that. Please have a listen to that. All right, now listen, uh, there's been many acts you've, uh, you've directed. Uh, one that's coming up now, Ice House. Um, have there been any difficult times or any diff you know, difficult acts who sort of say to you, no, I don't want that and I don't want this? Uh, yeah, and some of those I haven't carried on filming, uh, but there's certain acts which I've worked with and we won't work together. We won't mention their names. Right. But this man coming up is uh, was a joy to work with right. and uh, fine talent. Well, listen, uh, without, not because you're sitting here, I loved Highlander, as you know, as Thank a film. You. I wish you luck with it Thank and you. I wish you luck with Elton. Good to see you again. All right. And here it is in the studios now, uh, a group that's doing so well in America, Ice House with Mr. Big. <laughs> 